Hey guys, what's up? It's Kilrick99 and today I'll bring you 6 characters that we will most likely see in a new Porto Naruto Next Generations game. Disclaimer: I won't include characters that we have seen in Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, like Porto, Sarada, Mitsuki, Kage Naruto, Adult Sasuke, Omoshiki, and Kinchik. With a disclaimer out of the way, let's get started. You have seen Ao as a support character in Storm 3, but he is a totally different character in Port. Now his body is mostly ninja tech. We have seen him use a minigun, shoot projectiles with his arm, a sword jutsu, use mirror drones that also shoot projectiles, use a chakra blade and use a water release jutsu, water shockwave. In my opinion, he would be a cool character to see in a new Porto game, and also he has plenty of moves for tilts, grabs, jutsus and ultimate jutsus. Kono Amaru isn't a new character in the Storm series, but we have only been able to play him as a kid. Now in Boruto he is an adult, and has new techniques like Omurana, Kaze and Toad Summoning. He will probably have badass combos now that he uses Azuma's blades, as you can see in this clip. Kashin Koji might not be considered a new character in the Storm series, because by the time that I'm recording this video on 20th of April 2019, everyone knows that Kashin Koji is Jiraiya. Kappa. No, but for real guys, Kashin Koji is probably my favorite character in Boruto so far, the design of the character looks awesome and his techniques are even better. The True Flames of Samadhi this fire release technique is initiated remotely upon placing the target in contact with a physical object such as a kunai or a small toad and can cause the target to spontaneously burst into flames. Regarded as the flames of purgatory, they are said to be inextinguishable by wind or rain and burn so quickly that regenerative techniques cannot keep up with them. The flames can, however, be absorbed and sealed away. We have seen him summon Boiler Kama, use a Ceiling Jutsu, Frog Swallow, and perform a Rasengan. Kashin Koji will without a doubt be my main character when a new Boruto Storm game comes out. Shinki is Gara's adoptive son. We have seen him fight in the Shunin Exam arc. He uses a Magnet Release, the same KK Genkai used by the 3rd Kazakage. During the fight against Boruto and Sarada, he uses the Black Iron Fist and Black Iron Wings. I hope that they make him fly around like Conan with the wings. Delta is a member of the Inners of Kara. Just like Kashin Koji, her body has been extensively enhanced by highly advanced ninja tech to the point that she can be considered a full cyborg. She can modify her legs for high speed travel creating practical rocket legs, which makes me think that she could move around the stage like Mega Naruto did. In addition, her eyes can absorb and release ninjutsu. On top of that, she can launch a powerful beam capable of overpowering the strongest of regenerative abilities. Finally, she can also create several wood-like protrusions from her legs that are strong enough to pierce even the defenses of Naruto. Kawaki is probably going to end up as a main character in the Porto series. He possesses Karma, that when activated, he can absorb ninjutsu and create large scale explosions. He has ninja tech implanted throughout his entire body. His body tissue can undergo rapid cellular division, causing it to expand, and it can also undergo sclerosis or malacia to harden or soften. This allows him to partially transform his body in a manner similar to Jugo's Sage transformation, weaponizing it to produce sharp blades or piercing tendrils. His growths can even be shed or thrown as projectiles. He can also produce a powerful shockwave from his body. As you can tell, he has the potential to be a really interesting addition to a new Porto game, and I am very excited to see his development as a character in the Porto anime slash manga. Jigen is the leader of Kara. So far, we haven't seen him fight, 
but eventually you will end up fighting and because he seems to be the main villain for the current story of Porto, you will most likely be a playable character once a new Porto game comes out. Thank you so much for watching the whole video. I'm going to use this moment to announce that I'll be starting a new Nord Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 series in this channel. It will be Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 Road to Hero. If you are interested in watching Storm 4 content and updates on the new Naruto slash Porto game, make sure to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. This was your boy Killerick99 and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.